Welcome back to JB Reviews. I want to do a video following up on the one I did on Ram. A lot of people are saying that truck sales are about to go to the crapper. No one's buying trucks anymore. And unfortunately for you guys who think that, that couldn't be further from the truth. I'm here at Jerry Signer, Buick GMC. They have a lot of trucks. They have 75 trucks that are showing in stock right now. Let's go ahead and talk about the sales for this dealership in the last 90 days. So as I mentioned, Jerry Signer here in South Jordan, Utah has about 75 trucks showing in stock. Some of those could be in transit, but for the most part, the trucks that I'm discussing are in stock right now. You can see that these two HD trucks are actually showing so that's why you have those green things hanging from the mirror there right so as i mentioned 75 trucks in stock now in the last 90 days this dealership has sold 68 2500 and 3500 pickup trucks now you guys can see they have some trucks over here most of those are just half tons there's a few trucks over here most of the trucks you're seeing are commercial um there's one right there Let's keep driving over to the other side of the lot too. There's a few trucks over here. There's a Denali Ultimate. Actually, there's a AT4X, kind of like mine, like right between those two trucks there. Just like mine, same color. All of this is your used inventory. They have another AT4X right there. That truck right there is for sale. There's a few trucks kind of sprinkled in. There's a lot of half tons for sure. And for the first time in a while, they actually have a row of HDs. They have two AT4X available, both with the diesel. There's a Dually right there. I'm driving the other Dually that's available. And then there's a Denali Ultimate. So let's go ahead and talk about how much of these trucks are available and how much of these trucks are for sale. In case you didn't see the AT Forex I was talking about, that's exactly like mine. That truck is sold. As a matter of fact, most of the trucks that I've shown you guys are already pre-sold. Let's kind of go over the numbers. I want to show you guys a train really quickly. Aren't those mountains beautiful, by the way? So, I don't know the actual number of the trucks coming in. So, they have 31 3500s, right? That are either in stock or in transit here, right? 31 of those are pre-sold now out of that 75 that you guys heard that are in stock 16 of them are available and some of those might be incoming too i just couldn't figure out the numbers because we didn't have like a total number we were just counting on the list trucks that were pre-sold and then trucks that were in stock either coming in or are either on the ground currently right now as far as the 2500s go 24 of those 2500s are pre-sold and they had about 25 of them that were either incoming or either here on the ground right now i think they have a denali ultimate 2500 available right now as we speak so with that being said there still seems to be a lot of sales happening at the gmc store now that doesn't put ram down that's just because, as I said earlier in this video, GMC has done updates to their truck. So as of right now, GM pickups are more popular because they've redone their interiors, they have a newer face, and they just have a lot better selection on what people want. Ram has not done anything to their trucks in the last five years. So that's why Ram trucks are discounted heavily. Most of the GMC trucks that you see here are still either being sold at MSRP or close to it. You might get trucks at invoice price. You might be able to get them maybe a couple thousand dollars above it. But for the most part, you're going to pay a little bit more for these trucks. Now, I'm going to be doing a video if I haven't done so already. I actually will probably post that video tomorrow so you guys won't have seen this video. So, yeah, I can tell you. I did a video, and I'm going to do a video on how some Ram trucks are 19 to 20 grand off. When I bought my truck back in 2019, that's about what I got off of my truck was like 20 grand off because of the rebates, because of my 5% below invoice, because I was an employee at the time where I was an affiliate, not an employee, I was an affiliate. So I got big numbers on my truck off. And right now, because Rams are just not selling that well, 
you can get that kind of money off. But see, the problem is GMCs are not having any problems selling their trucks. I think GMC might be the number one truck right now. Ford trucks have started to slow down a little bit, and maybe if I have a chance, maybe I'll do a similar video like this on the Ford side. But like I said, this is still a good time to buy. I just think that with GMC trucks, you're probably gonna pay a little bit more because they're still really popular. Oh, but it doesn't hurt to ask. I've gotten deals on things that I never thought I would, but it doesn't hurt to ask, right? I always ask. And it's always good to go home and think about it too. I'm gonna leave you guys with one thing. I know a lot of people in the comment section are talking about price. Oh, the price of these trucks are so high. I agree with you to a certain extent. Yes, trucks are very expensive today, but trucks are not that much more expensive than you'd think. I think in some cases, trucks are probably five to 10 grand too high on price. And I might be high. I don't think that this truck is that high on price. I think this truck is probably maybe three grand high on price. This is an AT4 and it's basically a decked out one. It has the power to pull the running board, sunroof. It's gonna pretty much come with leather. This truck is $89,000. That truck is probably three grand too high. That dually is probably about three to five grand too high. Now, Ram trucks on the other hand, <laughs> 20 grand off. Yeah, those trucks are probably 10 grand too expensive, if not a little bit more. But for the most part, I think that the market is not going to crash the way people think that it is. I think people just want to see people get hurt for buying cars. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't buy trucks back in 2020 and 2021 simply because I wasn't going to pay over MSRP and I wasn't going to pay MSRP. So I decided not to buy. And a lot of places I was going to to buy a new Ram truck were telling me I had to buy the invoice. And that was too high. So I decided to wait. Now, in 2022, at the end, my accountant called me and says, hey, you need to buy a truck because you are about to get hung by your taxes. So I literally had to go out and buy a truck, which is why I bought the black GMC that I had. It was the only truck that I found that I liked and was a decent deal because they weren't offering the truck to me at five grand over MSRP. So I bought it at MSRP and I was able to get out of that truck. And I think I lost like three grand on it because I'm including my tax credit in there too. So yeah, I made out pretty good on that truck. But yes, the market is still pretty good. Guys are still coming in and buying these ninety and hundred thousand dollar GMC pickup trucks, guys. All the Denali Ultimates, except for one, is sold. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to buy a GMC truck, yeah, you're gonna to have to sharpen your pencil. If you want to buy a Ram truck, the dealerships have dropped their pants down to the floor, and they are doing whatever it takes to sell those trucks. Not the case for GMC.